little package arrived in the mail today. Two weeks from Budapest. Look at those stamps. Oh, cool, aren't they? Anyway, been uh, waiting for this uh, with some trepidation. Let's uh, open him up and see what we've got. This should be a cartridge format from Cap and Ball. Make some uh, cartridges for a walker. We are doing this from behind the camera. There we go. Put that down the field. Put the fingers out. There it is. It's just the invoice, and this should be instructions. Oh, wow. Templates. Straightforward enough. Let's see what we've got in here. A little Ziploc bag. on the block should do the job well get some bits and pieces together a bit later on and uh, we'll see how that goes well making cartridges joy of joys okay so I'm in from the instructions as you can see here it gives you a template and the sizes, so all I've done is I've cut out a piece of cardboard, same size as the template. Using strips of cigarette paper, the ones on a roll. Basically just put the template on, draw around, pen whatever you've got, cut them out, and we end up with little bits of paper. Take the mandrel, wrap him round, a little bit of glue, not too much so it doesn't stick stick to the uh, manual, manual, mandrel. Roll him up. There we have it one tube. Now for the bases you're supposed to use according to instructions a 12 mil round piece. I haven't got, wouldn't you know it, I haven't got a 12 mil punch so I've just cut some squares out. It doesn't seem to cause a problem because I'm using such thin paper. But if we just slide one of the tubes back onto the mandrel a little bit of glue around the base. Make sure I've got a little bit all the way around. And from the bottom, what I've been doing, as it seems to work for me, is just push them in slightly. Gives it a little bit of shape. And flip the block over the way it's supposed to be, slide him in. There we have him. Couldn't really be much simpler, could it? Uh, I'm not going to bore you and sit down and make loads of cartridges in front of you now. We'll uh, 
see if we can get some powder and uh, load them up. Okay, let's uh, load some powder in. I'm only uh, I'm only loading 25 grains in these. Might seem a little bit light for a walker, but uh, these are just a test, and it's more about how they fire and their consistency than anything else. So anyway, we'll take one of these fragile little tubes, drop him in there. Get ourselves. 25 grains of powder. And in we go. Here's the mandrel to give him a tap down. Now I'm going to put some filler in. Use whatever you want for filler, but it's just a case of putting something in to bring the ball up to the face of the chamber. I'm using coffee grounds today. You can use all sorts of things. Tap that down. Conveniently, I find that when the filler comes up to the level of the base on the block, it's the right thing to give me my length of cartridge. A little bit of glue around the inside. trim up any extra bits afterwards push from the bottom and there we have it one cartridge quite simple really isn't it it's, uh, so my impression on the cap and ball cartridge for couldn't be easier to use Seems to be a good bit of kick. Well, that's the uh, first batch of cartridges made up. And I suppose the question now is how uniform they are. Well, I made up 19 cartridges and uh, four odd balls I've rejected because they were s somewhat greatly different to the others. It's still got a fair variation in them and measuring the lengths, I've got a 1.67 mil difference in length between the shortest and the longest and a full grain difference in weight between the heaviest and the lightest. Strangely enough the heaviest ones aren't necessarily the longest and the lightest aren't necessarily the shortest. But we shall see and at the end of the day their paper cartridge is not brass so uh, they're not going to be so consistent. So I suppose it comes down to the fact that the proof is that, as with everything is uh, in the shooting. They seem good, so uh, I guess it's range time now. Go off and find out. So thanks for watching anyway, and uh, if you found it interesting, check out my next video and we'll see how they shoot. Thanks a lot then. Bye.